This is Embrilliant's Tips from Embroidery.com. We're looking at color stops and applique in Embrilliant's Essentials. These options also work in Stitch Artist. So I have a bear here. It's an applique and it's from Embroidery Central. I can click on the plus in the objects pane to show all of the objects in this design. Now you can see that this design doesn't rec isn't recognized as applique in Embrilliance right now because of the way the color stops were entered, but I can change that and I'll show you how. First of all, I actually want this bear to be a polar bear, so I'm going to change the color of the thread by clicking in the color swatch in the properties area below. Switch it to white. Now you can see that that placement mark for my fabric has changed to white. Now I can also do a preview of my applique fabric. To do that, I'm going to click again on the color swatch. And rather than pick the color, I'm going to go to the applique tab up here and change from not applique to applique position. This marks where I'm going to put my applique. And if I click simulated, it simulates as if I've placed my applique fabric there. I click OK. Moving on, we have a tack down stitch. This is going to stitch down the applique fabric after I place it. So I'm going to change that from not applique to applique material. And I'll also return to the color and change this color stop to gray. I'm not picking the very same color because I would like my machine to stop in between these color stops so that I can place my fabric. And going on to the bear. Picked white. And now my bear is a polar bear. That's a quick look at color stops and applique in Embrilliance Essentials or Stitch Artist. This tip is from embroidery.com.